On this slide here I've got a number of buttons which are set up so that when the user clicks it um, the button will play an audio file. And the idea is that the user can click on any of these buttons as many times as they like until they are ready and they will then click on this click box here which is placed over this arrow. And as you can see the click box is set so that it should pause the project until the user clicks that click box. Unfortunately what I found was that when I preview this slide you can only click on a few of these items before the um, project automatically advances to the next slide. I still haven't figured out why exactly that is the case but I have found a solution to the problem and here is what I've done. To solve the problem um, I've um, used advanced actions. So here are um, some items which I've already changed over and as you can see here I've attached the uh, uh, an advanced action to to this particular button and uh, let's just see how I've set that up I'm just going to select one of those advanced actions that I have already created so the advanced action simply plays the audio and then pauses so let's do one of the words that I haven't yet changed over so I'm going to simply duplicate this advanced action give it a unique name and change the sound file over like so and then update this action and now of course the last step I need to do is go back to um, the button and change this so that it plays the correct advanced action. Okay, now if I preview this slide um, again, I can now click on any of these words as many times as I like before I advance to the next screen. As you can see here it has paused the project until I click on the next button.